have over here a smoked beef uh, <clears throat> Frito. Uh, Oh, it's that, you got a Frito pie kind of Yes, we do. Yes, we oh. do. It's that version of an egg roll. It is delicious. It's on, a, it's on a bed of Asian slaw, top of chipotle mayo. Everyone is going crazy. Are you rolling Are you rolling it in the in the Doritos We're or whatever? We're rolling it up. We are rolling it. Camera's rolling. Food's yeah. rolling. This is solid. This is solid. This is the kind of food we're looking for, buddy. You know? Yes, it is. Everyone's looking for this food. If I was really hungry late at night, this is the kind of, kind of what I've been eating, right? Definitely. If you want those heartburns and whatnot, definitely. Oh, oh my God. Yo, this is a... Uh, so they took an egg roll, right? We roll it in uh, Doritos, extra crunchy, right? That's solid. That's a solid pro move. This guy knows what he's doing on his late night eats. How is it? Mm. I like your like sweet, sweet spicy mayo. That's a chipotle mayo on top. Yeah. It gives a little kick at the end. It also blends very, very well with the uh, smokiness of the beef. But that crunchy, man, it's just a crunchy chip. This was like a kosher girl's fantasy that there would be like kosher pepperoni out in the world. I don't normally eat stuff like this, but I feel like I have to try it. So I'm gonna take a little piece of this. Okay, check this out. This does not look kosher. Oh, that's really tasty. And so, oh wow, what is this? This is veal, bacon, bourbon, brittle. A bunch of words that alone sound interesting, but all together, it's like, what is this, like beef candy? All right, I am trying chorizo. My kids would love this. Okay, this is really good. But I still think the best thing was the pepperoni. Yo, go for it. Go for it, bro. We're trying it out. This is a uh, German beer wurst with, uh, with a house-made kraut. That's the way to do it, right? Yeah, right. You're a house-made kraut. Oh, whoa. Wait a second. Hey, guys. I'm Ari White, pit boss of The Wandering Q and you are in my world of sausages. <laughs> That's this year's hashtag, you didn't know? I, I, oh my God. World of sausage, world of sausage. Wandering world of sausage. World of sausage, a journey through a world of... <laughs> Just don't Google that. No-go restaurant is a new high-end dairy restaurant in Manhattan on the Lower East Side. Um, we're actually, hopefully, we just started, we just opened about two weeks ago, and hopefully within, after Pesach, we're planning to do some uh, Shabbos meals and uh, hopefully invite everybody that can come for uh, actually staying in the hotel for Shabbos and Shevard Brothers parties. Uh, it's a beautiful place, really, really unique, one of a kind. Well, the concept that we did at Noga is uh, just very simple. Uh, it's just something that there's nothing in kosher right now. There's no real high-end dairy, and we also wanted to bring back like kosher to the Lower East Side. So there you have it. You guys have a joint called Noga. He does have his experience. He has a place called Bison and Bourbon, which, if you have a chance to see, is really just a beautiful structure. It's a beautiful place. Now you're going into dairy. You got Noga. Kosher hoteling. Room service? Room service, everything. See, that's what I'm saying. You get to go to the city, stay in a fancy hotel. This is Eli Cormu. So I'm say that CW does a really fine job. He's articulate, he's professional, and he really gets behind the scenes, and I appreciate that. It makes the restaurants look good, and it's good for the community. It's good for the foodie you know, community, I, I, so I'm I happy. Think, I mean, I appreciate So I'm interviewing you're you. You're good, now. you're good. You can interview. You want to hold it? No. So I, I appreciate the sentiment. I will tell you I'm good at one thing, um, and that's just really running my mouth. <laughs>